Good morning everyone. So today the plan is we're going to head to Izduzu Beach which is also known as Turtle Beach and is a little way out of Dalian. What we're going to try and do, because these things don't always go to plan, is get a Dolmus and we're going to show you the price of the Dolmus and how long it takes to get there and then we'll probably get a boat back and we'll show you how much it costs to get the boat back. So also here is a turtle hospital so we're probably going to visit there because they've got some massive turtles there that are being protected. So let's see how it's going. It's going to be a scorcher. It's going to be 35 degrees today and it's already red hot at half past 10 in the morning. So let's get going. Yeah! Two lira, one way. 32? Yes. Okay. The two people, the route 65. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the Dolmus leaves, well, pretty much right next to the moss, is like a bit of a square here. It's like a little bus stop. It's a Dalian cooperative Dolmus service. So this runs every half hour from Dalian to his Tuzu. And like the guy said there, it's 32 lira one way and 65 return. You're driving, Jackie. <laughs> and I've been hired on a stool. So the doll buses are just little mini buses, really. But these run half every half hour, so on the hour and every half hour. It should probably take about 20 minutes, I think, on the on the bus. And this drops you off at the Coretta Coretta Turtle Hospital. So that's where we're going to look first, and then we'll head to the beach. So the dude just literally crap me onto the bus, I think. Get as many people on as you can. Probably be people on the roof soon. You go over the hill, it was nice scenery actually on the way across, and it drops you right down into a car park. The turtle rehabilitation center is just up here. We're just getting dropped at the beach, we didn't realize we should have gotten off there. I mean, it's only a minute's walk from where we stopped. 
So let's go and have a look at this place, which I believe was set up in 2001. So the government put some strict regulations in place that is, is Tuzu Beach back in 1998. Obviously the loggerhead turtles become quite a endangered species now. So they set this up back in the 2000s to look after injured turtles that were found in the Delta, Dalian, and just to protect them, rehabilitate them, and then set them back into the wild. So we're going to have a look around here. I'm not sure if I can film or anything in here, but we're going to have a look. Can't film, we'll let you know what it's like and tell you some of the stories of the turtles. Apparently there's some huge turtles in here and I think, I think there's a turtle who's just had some babies. Should be quite interesting to see, probably quite sad as well. Because there, there probably will be quite a lot of injured turtles in here. The Turtle Rehabilitation Centre was established in 2009 with the influence of Englishwoman June Hymoff. June is also referred to as Captain June and you'll see her name mentioned around Dalian and you'll also see memorials around the town. The rehabilitation centre, also known as Dikema, is located on the southern end of Izutuzu Beach where injured turtles are rescued and treated. The centre is set up all year round to help educate the public about the conservation efforts. Dikema act as the regular monitoring of Dalian Beach for nesting activities by accepting volunteers from all universities. Any injured turtles found along the Mediterranean coast of Turkey are also brought to the centre and will take care of their necessary medical treatment and rehabilitation. Around the centre there is loads of information about the causes of injuries to the turtles and perhaps the most disturbing is the fact that 20% of the injuries are caused intentionally by humans and another 19% by accidental collisions with boats. So this turtle here is 36 to 41 year old estimated. He's got like a tea towel on his back, but it's because his shell's been cracked probably from like a motorboat propeller accident. And it's cracked its shell. Look there, uh, yeah. It's obviously why it's got the towel on the back. It's cracked. Is the towel because of um, a crack in the shell or? Yeah, and diving club. And? Diving club. Okay, right. Okay. How old is this? Well, I don't know, but it can be about 40 to 45. 40 to 45. Wow. Yeah, so the whole thing with the towels on the back is due to cracking the shell and diving problems. So this one here, this one doesn't have towel on its back but it's got kind of an imbalance so it's swimming around here in the tank but it's kind of tilted on the side so it might just be like an inner inner ear infection <laughs> That's it. yeah it's like you can see it's like on the side Yeah. At 25 years old, it's got like a crack in the shell, which you can see. And again, it's got this buoyancy issue, which must make it kind of tilt. You can see. Yeah, you can see the shell is just like doesn't look like it's formed properly. And you can see like a huge hole in the back of the shell there. It's all like gentle away the swimming. Also got like a little centre here where they show a video before you go in. So it's just about the history of the place and, and how to re rehabilitate the turtles here. Yeah, it's, it's been good just seeing all the little, I see little turtles, big turtles there. It's quite sad really, but you know that. Lovely little creatures really.
that's the turtle rehabilitation centre which was pretty good it was quite informative quite a few turtles in there she said there was 20 there's quite a few of the like, barrel things they've got them in uh, empty which I suppose is a good thing yeah. but um, yeah it was just horrible seeing them like some of them like the shells the, the damage to the shells oh, yeah there's just a hole in the side of one of them uh, I don't know what's caused it I don't think it's said on the thing I was the boat which would explain a lot I suppose I don't know whether I was just saying I don't know whether the actual shells like can regenerate and heal so I don't know because that was just a complete it was like it was smashed wasn't it on the side so it was it wasn't very nice but it's good to educate yourself on things like that so it shows you like um, how they've gotten injured so a lot of it I think is the main part is down to fisheries so obviously people throw nets out hooks getting stuck in them and then obviously there's things like natural disease um, and then there's like intentional attacks as well which I don't know why anybody would have wanted to intentionally attack a turtle because you know they're just quite gentle creatures by the, the looks of it the way they just kind of swim around in that but it was good we've spent about a half hour in there just over half an hour you can make a small donation which we've done and it just helps the place out with, with the turtles so what did you think of that? Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's right on the beach. Yeah, so it's close by, so you can know. Yeah, it's worth a visit to come in. Definitely worth a visit. See what they're helping me. Jack, he's out of five. Um, uh, four. Four. Right, we're going to head down to the beach now. So we're going to show you around here. And we'll give you an idea of the prices in some of the beach huts. Just so you kind of know what to expect in terms of drinks and food. <laughs> Tuzu Beach is four and a half kilometers long which sits outside of Dalian and it forms a natural barrier between the sea and the Dalian Delta. So this beach is one of the main nesting beaches for the Coretta Coretta turtles in the Mediterranean and this beach has been protected since 1988. So you'll see along the beach there's certain areas you can bathe and some areas you can't because obviously because of the nests. So the sunbeds themselves are 50 for a single or 100 lira for the double. So that works out what? They're looking at about £4 which I don't think is actually too bad. And you get the umbrella well, and the two sunbeds with it so I don't think that's too bad. We usually bring a towel and a throw to just put on the beach. We don't usually pay for it. But with a hot day like today, we might need some shelter later on. So we're just going to have a little wander along and see what's on the beach. But you'll probably see along the way, they have like cages. So this again is very similar to the beach in Kalamaki and Zanti. So obviously the cages are where the turtles lay their eggs. So you can't go anywhere near those areas. So it looks like one end of the beach where you get dropped off by the Dolmus, there's a place to eat and drink. It doesn't look like there's anything else all the way around until you get to the place where the boats pick you up. So it might be quite a little walk from here down there. I think somebody said it might take about 45 minutes. So we're going to stick this end for now. We're probably we're going to get the boat walk back that way. I just think we we're going to stop halfway. I'm not sure you can bring plastic and cans and stuff on the beach obviously because it's protected. So we're going to stay up this end for now, enjoy some sun and relax and then we'll make their headway down there later. Two bottles of water and two Twix cost a hundred Turkish lira, 
These are just a snack for now, just to keep it going. But I brought a Twix, but I've never seen Jackie get up as quick in my life. Shot up like a dolphin out the water. And yeah, she's telling me she's not hungry. Oh, it's hungry for chocolate. See, yeah, me. You're going to sink in that sea. You'll probably be in that turtle rehabilitation centre. So the water here is really warm and you can walk out for miles like you see people right out here it just it stays shallow you could see yesterday on the boat trip we did you come out the far end of the beach here and go around this i think this is radar mountain behind you go around and you can just see how shallow it is like we were out quite far there's a couple of islands over there that we went past you can just see how shallow you can see because it's so clear you can see to the bottom and you're probably only into your waist a good few hundred yards out so the sand's really soft underneath there's no pebbles or anything around here i wouldn't say the sand's golden it's a nice sandy beach it's not pebbly not shingly the sand's more like a brown color than gold but it's still nice the sand's soft it's lovely but it's red hot just meant to be about 35 degrees today so the sand itself is boiling hot going to show you how shallow this is. It goes deep and then it goes shallow again. We'll see how far we can get out. It's staying about shin height. We've already walked a little way out as you can see. Up to my knees now. It's really warm the water isn't it? Yeah. Because it's quite shallow as well. Just the sun shining on it. It's just a lovely lovely temperature. It? it doesn't even cool you off. It's soft isn't it? So it's nice, it's like I can imagine it's pretty safe around here for swimming. Yeah, there was a lady we were talking to in the restaurant before. Yeah, because it is, I mean just from yesterday and today, you can tell it's quite windy around here. And the woman we spoke to in the restaurant this morning said it does get quite rough here, but it's fine today, it's not bad. A little choppy but it's not anything to worry about but they've got lifeguards along the beach as well so if there is kind of any dangers then if you know there's people watching out so we've walked a little way now and i'm not even waist height yet i mean i'm about six foot Jackie's a bit smaller, but even she's only in waist height. So far. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it was just cold. So we're still walking. And the waves are getting a little bit kind of just just below my chest. I walked out quite a way there now and you can still touch the bottom. It's still clear as anything. There's the shore. So that's probably good. Approaching probably a good 100 meters I would say. Maybe not quite but it's not quite this And then it's probably just gonna drop and I'll just go down. I know I could wait probably like I believe this mountain behind is called Radar Mountain and you can actually go to the top here and apparently the views are spectacular so you can see the whole delta where the river is where we came out yesterday on the boat and then you can see the whole of this beach where the boats come out and all the way back across the Dalian so if we hire a car which we might do we might get to the top of there because it'll be quite a walk especially in this heat 
But another thing I haven't mentioned, I probably haven't used my drone much in this series so far because I lost it the other day and that was just around near our apartment. Totally lost the signal on my drone. So I couldn't find it anywhere. Thankfully, about an hour later, I walked back to the apartment and it had taken itself home and landed itself not far from our apartment, sort of across the road. So that I was really worried about it because I've still got stuff on there from my Vietnam series, which I haven't taken off. So thankfully I found it. Nelly landed in a bush and Nelly landed in a villa. So thankfully it had the intelligence to get itself back to where it took off. So just getting another drink from the little snack bar here. We're getting two soft drinks and two waters and that came the 80 lira. Right, we're starting to walk back towards the boats. So we're going to see how long it takes. It's 5 to 4 in the afternoon now. So we'll let you know how long it takes to walk from where the Dolmus is to where the boats are. And we'll show you how much it is to get back to Dalian on the boat. about 10 minutes so far and once you get about five minutes away from that little area we've been sitting at the little kind of cafe is there's nobody along here so you could pretty much have a massive section of the beach to yourself although it is a bit choppier from this end probably because you're not protected as much by the big mountain there behind so it is a bit rougher here but it's pristine, there's, there's no rubbish anywhere. It's really nice, they've kept the beach really well. And the sand's lovely and soft. And it's a nice walk actually. I'm not sure we've got too much further to go. But we'll see, because I'm sure when we get here, you just turn right and there's, there's places up here to get the boat. See, at the other end of the beach there's more sunbeds and like another kind of cafe very similar to the other place and just behind there is like a dock so that's where you get the boat from and we're going to head through there now and catch the boat back to Dalian. So we've managed to find the taxi boat back. I'm not sure how much it is yet, but you can get a beer, which are 100 lira each. So we're gonna enjoy these on the way back. So the taxi boat back is 70 lira each, which has cost us 140 lira. So it's actually cheaper on the Dolmus. Yes. Was it 32? 32 each, yeah. So yeah, it's double the price on here. But it's just a different way to get back and it's given them a chance to do the whole length of the beach there, which has been a nice afternoon. Something different, change of scenery. Had a bit of time to relax there on the beach, take some sun in. It's been nice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If the boat trip yes, there's anything to go by, it should probably take about half an hour, 45 minutes from here. 
or am I just about to set up? So that was Isduzu Beach, which was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. It Massive good, stretch yeah. of beach. Yeah. So it's been a, a nice afternoon out because we didn't really get out quite late. <sighs> so how many jetties out of five for Isduzu? Um, four and a half. Four and a half out of five. That's pretty good for the beach. Yeah, that's yeah. alright. Yeah, it was a nice, nice and clean. Yeah, it was. It was really nice clean. Beach stand was really nice. Yeah, it was, it was nice and warm. Actually. It was. It's actually warmer yeah. than the pool. But if we had maybe one tip, it would probably be maybe get the board there and get the dolmos back. Yeah, if we would have done the way around. Yeah. That's just our personal opinion, of course. But oh, it depends on what time you get there. Exactly. Yeah, because it is quite a long walk along the beach, and if you've got walking difficulties or whatever, it's, it's not the best because it is quite a long stretch, and it's probably deceiving when you walk round because we were thinking oh it's not going to take that long but it did take about 45 to 50 yeah, minutes it was, nice. it was a nice walk but it was yeah it was nice oh, to you just... Could just get the bus and get the bus back yeah, or vice versa vice versa yeah because and then you, mm -hmm, you would just pay like a return fee rather than just singles like we've done today but we just wanted to give a perspective of what it costs on each today and show you kind of what the beach is like so and it was about 30, was it about 35 minutes come back on the yeah, it was just over half an hour, I think, on the boat. Uh, but it's it's quite relaxing, like I say. You can get a beer on there, you can get a snack. So it's all right. Like It's probably good to just do the boat both ways because it is quite a relaxing way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Because the bus is like quite crowded, so if you're not great in like, crowded places, it's maybe it's not for you, but the boat was fine. So that was Iztuzu Beach. So if you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Please leave your comments about your experiences at Izduzu Beach and how you get there and back. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, which is free to do. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. In the next episode, we hire a quad bike and head out of Dalian and explore the surrounding area. We'll be heading up to Radar Mountain. We'll then be taking the ferry across to the other side of Dalian and exploring the ancient king's tombs, the ancient city. Introducing the irrepressible Jacqueline Caesar. Get off. Boo. And we take a mud bath. Is this how you expected to spend your wedding anniversary? Not really, covered <laughs> in mud and stinking like. Oh. <laughs>